The next part of the puzzle is how do we connect to these? Because this is meant to charge several different batteries. Again, you got all sorts of different connections. But basically, you have to find the connections to the batteries you're trying to charge. The other thing that I bought is I bought a six connector cable for for my charger or six connector cable for this type of battery. Okay, so now what I'm able to do, this allows me to charge up to six batteries. I could have more if I had a different cable. But I can charge six batteries all in 30 to 40 minutes. That is really handy. So I can sit there and fly three or four batteries, get done with that, throw them in the charger, charge them all at once, and 30 minutes later, I've got another four batteries to fly. That really has been uh, really nice to be able to do instead of that old single single unit. The problem is, is this cable doesn't plug in here. Huh, what plugs in there? Oh, all sorts of different connectors and banana plugs. Well, this one, this device is this battery to I believe it's JST connection is what this is. So I was able to find from a place called Heli Direct banana plugs with a JST connection. So now, once I got that in, I was able to make the final cable that plugs nice and conveniently into my charger. And voila, now I'm ready to charge. Got all the cables I need. Quite the hassle, but in the end, it's, it's gonna be well worth it. Some of the things I'm charging is, let's talk about batteries a little bit. First, the ones that come with it, they're a 200 milliamp, 1S, 3.7 volt, 25C. Now, fine battery, works well, but it, it looks like after some investigation, what most people are running are uh, out there on this particular heli is a uh, 300 milliamp, 1S, 3.7 volt, 30C. And the important things are two things. One, the 300 milliamp just is gonna last longer than the 200 milliamp. So that was one of the main reasons I, I you know, went up to the 300 milliamp. Cost difference isn't that much. The other thing is the uh, rate in which it'll discharge, 30C, I'm not sure what the C stands for, current or something, but it actually can throw out more power uh, faster than your 25C. So that works in the MCPX quite well, and this is my battery of choice. There's different brands of these, of course. Microheli sells them. Uh, I believe there's one under Turnigy. Uh, they sell one, too, with their brand name. When it comes time to charging, I'll fly four batteries. And what I did was I got my, my little uh, labeler out, and I numbered each battery, one, two, three, four. Because as I sit there flying, sometimes I'll fly two, sometimes I'll fly three, and I try to remember did I, where did I end off last time. So I'm just kind of making sure I'm cycling through my, my batteries. But let's say we run them, time to charge. You just plug them in. And voila, I'll come here. Now, the calculation of how to charge these, you can find online, and I'll try to post some of this stuff for you. But it's really pretty simple. You're, you're charging in parallel, so you've got to tell your charger at how many amps, how much power you want to throw to these batteries. Now, the problem is, if you get this wrong and you throw too much at them, these things catch on fire and are very dangerous. And most of the people on the net you'll see will say, you know, make sure you put these in a lipo safe bag, which basically is just a fireproof bag because they can catch on fire. And you can see online all sorts of uh, videos of how flammable they are. So be very, very careful when charging these and don't get that wrong. Okay. So. Really, the quickest way for me to come up with the amperage to set 
is I take the 300 milliamps and then I count them. So I say 1, 2, 3, 4 times 3 is uh, 12. Okay, so I'm going to be charging 12, 1200 uh, milliamps. So then once you have that, that would be at the rate of, of uh, 1, and I think you can go up to uh, 2 or 3. I just stick at 2, so kind of double, double the rate in there. So I will come in here and set my charger. I'll go up to, in this case, 12 times 2 is 24. So I'll run this all the way up to 2.4 amps. And then I'll, and I'm not going to do it, but I'll hit start. And it will then charge all four batteries at the exact same time. And it takes that 30, 40 minutes still. It's really nice to, to be able to, again, charge those up so quickly and easily. Now, there's a couple of things that uh, you really want to watch out for. I have like four of the original type of E-Flight 200 milliamps. You never want to do mixed batteries, okay? Because they're obviously different milliamps and they will charge at different rates. The other thing is, is you don't want to charge these batteries if this one's at at uh, 3.6 volts, this one's at at 4.0, and this one's at 3.8. You, you want to kind of run them down to the same level, and this charger doesn't know that there's four batteries here. It thinks there's one. So you want to keep these at the same charge level when you charge them. And then the last thing is that you want to be careful with your harness here and some people only disconnect their harness right here because they've got a, uh, uh, one of these adapters for their banana plugs to their charger and they always break here and put different batteries on okay I only fly this unit so I only have this but what you have to watch out for is since I do unplug and I'm going to go ahead and just turn all this off since I do unplug from here, never unplug these with batteries still in the harness. And the reason is, if you touch these together, it will destroy your battery. Now, I don't know how quickly it does. I don't know if it's one little. I've never done it. Uh, it's just a warning that you'll see on the web all the time of, you know, never let your battery cross touch. So be warned of that, that that's a potential hazard and make sure no batteries are connected there when you come out of that.